The following presentation will teach you about the Executive Function Performance Test, Enhanced, or EFPTE. The EFPTE is based on the Executive Function Performance Test, or EFPT. The EFPT is a reliable and valid performance-based measurement of functional cognition that consists of asking clients to complete four IADL tasks that are required to be independent in the home, cooking, paying bills, using the telephone, and taking medication. While the EFPT has been valuable in providing insight into functional cognitive abilities for a variety of persons with neurological impairment, there was a limitation in the EFPT in identifying functional cognitive changes in individuals with more mild neurological impairment. As a result, a group of developers of the EFPT developed the EFPT Enhanced that utilizes more complex IADL tasks with the intention that it would be more sensitive to more subtle changes in functional cognition. The EFPTE is a performance-based assessment of functional cognition that consists of three instrumental activities of daily living subtasks, cooking, medication management, and bill payment. While these are the same tasks used in the EFPT, the tasks in the EFPTE have more complex requirements. For example, instead of making oatmeal on the stove for the cooking task in the EFPT, the EFPTE requires the client to make pasta and sauce and attempt to have them finish at the same time. Instead of paying two bills in the EFPT, the EFPTE requires the client to pay all their bills for a month. The EFPTE has been used with a variety of populations. People with stroke, cancer patients, cancer survivors, or other neurologic populations with potential cognitive deficits. Part of the EFPTE is a pretest to evaluate familiarity with the tasks and also to help assess an individual's awareness about their abilities prior to attempting the task. Following a brief description of the EFPTE tasks and rules, the client will be asked 14 questions concerning their experience and skill in performing activities directly related to the tasks they will be asked to complete. After completion of the pretest, the first task the client is asked to complete is the cooking task. This task requires the client to prepare and cook pasta and pasta sauce while following a set of written directions provided to the client. Some directions are only provided verbally. The sauce and noodles must be ready at the same time and the client must measure spices for the sauce. The cooking task also places demands on prospective memory. At the beginning of the task, the examiner asks the client to place both the sauce and the noodles into a bowl at the end of the task. The second task following the cooking task is the medication management task. This task requires a three-step process. First, clients need to find their own prescriptions, five in total, while ignoring distractor medications. Second, clients use a weekly pill sorter to sort out their medications correctly according to the directions on the bottle. Finally, clients are instructed to take the Sunday evening medications as per medication directions. If infection control is a concern, clients will instead be asked to describe how they would follow the prescription's instructions to take the medications. Following the task, the clients respond to questions about managing their medications to further evaluate safety and judgment within the task. This question and answer portion is not included in the recorded time, but the responses are recorded by administrator and will contribute to scoring if the answers require queuing. The final task is the bill pay task. This task requires clients to find all the bills, six in total, for a month addressed to them while ignoring distractor bills, open the relevant bills, pay them, and balance their checkbook for a month, taking into account when and how much they will be paid during the month. The client is given a calendar for the month, which orients them to what day they are to assume it is, what days they will be paid, and how much they will be paid. They are also supposed to retrieve a checkbook which has their current account balance provided. To prepare for administering the EFPTE, ensure that all items required for testing are present in the EFPTE container. The item list for each task will be found at the beginning of each task section. Additional documents can be used to increase usability for test administrators and reduce tester-related disruptions to the assessment. These documents are referred to as cheat sheets and are specific to each EFPTE task. When administering the cooking task, it is suggested to use your own copy of the cooking instructions so as to avoid using the client's copy of the instructions. To prepare for the medication management task, medication labels are placed on each prescription pill bottle. Insert the client's name onto the labels, with the exception to the distractor label from a different pharmacy. During the medication management task, 
it can be difficult to determine which medication a client is handling and if they are sorting the pills correctly. To avoid confusion, the Medication Management Cheat Sheet is available. This cheat sheet displays each medication bottle number and the respective medication directions. It is also suggested to assign each pill bottle a color that is displayed in a visible but not distracting manner on each bottle including the distraction bottles. The color coding can also extend to the medication management cheat sheet. This allows the administrator to quickly determine which medication is being handled and what its directions are. The bill payment task can also be difficult to administer. To aid test administrators, the checkbook registered cheat sheet was created. This sheet displays what the completed checkbook register looks like given the two ways a person can order the bills. Using this sheet allows the administrator to easily determine if the client is ordering the bills correctly, writing the correct payment amounts, and getting correct mathematical results. Over the course of a testing session, several items are used and some are reduced in amount, like spices, or disposed of, like tomato sauce cans. It is suggested to review the EFPTE preparation checklist to ensure all items have been replaced prior to beginning another administration of the assessment. The administrator will need the following items, queuing cheat sheet, scoring sheet, task-specific cheat sheet for the administrator to reference, clipboard or other portable hard surface to hold documents and write on, writing utensil, stopwatch. The client will need access to the EFPTE container and during the cooking tasks, cooking instructions. All the other items the client will need will be found in the EFPTE container, including writing utensils. Materials for the EFPTE are all in the container, in no particular order, but with a few exceptions. The bills are all together in a bag so they are not lost among the other items in the container. Deviations from the listed items are acceptable as long as it doesn't materially change the test. For example, using lids with pots is acceptable. Using cooking pans instead of pots is not. Upon completion of the administration of the EFPTE, wash and dry all cooking items and replace all items in the EFPTE container. Use the EFPTE completion checklist to ensure all items that we discarded or reduced during the testing have been replaced so that the EFPTE kit is ready for future use.